This is Tita Taiwan Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we are here to analyze the biggest entertainment story. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with my co-anchor, Ife Olua Oshunke. Yeah, what's up? Hi, and Ife. Maybe because you two are namesakes, so there are things that you will see that I will see. Oh, so you are seeing her now, but... I know seen her again. As we are not namesake, so I cannot see her on that level. Okay, just so, but you can see her. Sad, yeah. No, I speak to people like she's there, she's there in spirit. Mm, remember that Yoruba movie that <laughs> <laughs> what Yoruba movie? And Jano people will be coming out. And it was it not Mr. Lati that was the man. So he's the only one seeing there. And he was speaking with them. And people were wondering who are you speaking with? So is that the same thing going no, on? This one is not a journey vibe. It's just, you know, spiritual connection. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hi. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne Johnson is highest paid actor for second consecutive year. He dominates the 2020 list of highest paid actors, coming in at number one. Ryan Reynolds came in second, while Mark Wahlberg, Ben Affleck, and Vin Diesel fill in the third, fourth, and fifth spots, respectively. Interestingly, the only Bollywood star on the list, Ash. K. Kuma takes the number six spots and returning to the list are Will Smith, Adam Sandler and Jackie Chan at 8, 9 and 10th position respectively. This year's 10 top earning actors collected a combined $545.5 million and more than a quarter of that was paid out by Netflix. This is very interesting and um, I'm really happy for Dwayne Johnson because mm -hmm. I know when this happened last year, we spoke about it as well. And um, second consecutive year, that guy puts in a lot of work. You're wondering like, how many movies do you shoot in a year? Because mm -hmm. if you watch Netflix a lot, I'm sure you must have seen over 100 Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson movies. I don't know if it's up to that, but it feels like it's I up to... I think you're a fan. So once you watch some of any of his yeah. movies, they will recommend more for you. Yeah, yeah. so I, I don't know. So Dwayne, Dwayne is actually putting in a lot of work. Another person I'm happy about is um, Will Smith because... Um, a lot of people criticize his movies like they don't, but the guy is still cashing out, you know, from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and all of that. And Vin Diesel to being on that is quite cool. And But my own thing is because last year we had um, the pay, the, um, the disparity in pay for both male and female actors because... Um, the female had like 10% of what they got last year and all that. So I'd like to see what the women got as well to just be able to compare and see if there was an improvement from the house cry last year. Mm. Um, I mean, for me, I'll say shout out to Netflix because they're doing a lot. Mm. Uh, it's interesting to see a new business model, if I can call it that now in mm. this space. And that is kind of the future right now. And a lot of people are working to now compete with them i mean mm. i can imagine what it would have been like when they started and when it to feel like who is going to subscribe what is it going to look like and to think that they are about to pour in i think about 17 billion dollars mm. for um content is it for 2021 now mm -hmm. i mean that is just amazing and the next one coming close is just like 30 million dollars look at that gap mm -hmm. right so uh, it's just amazing to, to for netflix and what they do and how they also calculate it because they're not just looking at um you being in the movie and all they also want to look at how many people are watching that movie because of you and how it translates to also going to your social media and um helping them also retain whatever subscribers um you bring to the platform so this is just um, good news. I, I am happy for everyone on that list. Whether you are number ten point five, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. mean you're making because money, everybody's so. saying like twenty twenty is not the year, but some mm -hmm. people are cashing out with eighty something million dollars. Like, come on, mm -hmm. as in, can I have a bad year like that? Yeah, I also saw <laughs> a list of um, how much those that were already the world billionaires anyway, the yeah. amounts they topped mm -hmm. on it, and they are now even. In fact, they grossed even way higher than they did last year. Yeah, because year, there's it's less competition. Amazing. Because if you don't have a lot of structure and a lot of things to keep you going, obviously mm -hmm. the ones that are very solid will actually and behind that structure. That and I think we should add digital behind it, digital structure basically. Thank you very much mm -hmm. because that's the space we're in that's right the space, now. That's space, right? Yeah, so um, big shout out to everyone. And I like the fact that you also touched on um, the Netflix thing because they're actually doing a lot. I don't even think they realize how much they're doing. No, because I think they know. 
They, think you think they, they do, right? I think they do. Yeah, because um, right now, during the lockdown period, mm -hmm. I'm sure Netflix was a lifesaver yeah, for of course. a lot and of people. Yeah, and you know, they, I, I feel like they know because they also need to keep up the pace to remain where they are because there are competitions. And these competitions, regardless of how small we are saying um, $30 million is compa compared to $17 billion, if mm. Netflix don't remain on their toes, I mean, you know how competitive the market mm -hmm. can be, mm -hmm. they will realize that at some point they are maybe becoming number two. So they also want to be number mm -hmm. one for a very sure. long time. Sure. So I'm sure they know what they're doing. And but they, don't, they don't have a lot of competition, though. Like uh -huh. It's coming up. I mean, this is what, 2020? Yeah, it's, it's, From it's, now to 2025, it's going to be an interesting space. Yeah. I know, I know, though. Yeah. I know, though. But I, I just hope they stay at the top because they've done too well to go down. They it's have. it's easy. It's not easy get. They say it's um, easy to get to the top, but mm. staying at the top is what is harder. Mm -hmm. So I just hope that they find it easy, even staying at the top. Okay. Because All they right. did a lot for me, personal <laughs> you. I don't know about you. Yeah. So moving on to the next story, which is quite interesting as well. British Spears father claims conservatorship cost her. $1.2 million in 2019. According to financial documents filed by her father, Jimmy Spears, and obtained by the blast of the total amount spent, $400,000 were conservative fees charged by Britney's own lawyer and another $346,000 went to attorneys working on the conservatorship. The accounting document also states that Britney's previous co-conservator, Andrew Wallet, was paid $27,000 while her dad received a pain $128,000. Other expenses include um, the one on travel and of course on jewelry, antiques and falls. Hmm. Hmm. This is mm -hmm. very, I don't know. I don't know. Was it worth it? That's the big question. She did the job. No, it did the job, but was it worth it? And I don't I think we have the, you know, it's, it's, it's like... They're no longer in the news, so I think it was worth it. So it was worth spending that much. Because mm -hmm. when I was looking at the figures and I was like, the accounting documents and, um, I, I mean, a previous conservator, Andrew Wallet, paid $27,000. Mm -hmm. You know, with all those other figures and, and he was getting $400,000. Do you understand attorney fees and services in 2019, 400000 I know it's actually expensive to keep an attorney, but those figures kind of don't add up to me. It still feels like, okay, you want this over with, right? We're still looking for a way to it. We're still going to find a way to extort you. Because one point, to me, that's too much for you to just fight a conservatorship battle. If you ask me, though, but I don't know what lawyers you used to. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, it's how I want to talk about the value you saying whether he's worth it or not. Yes, um, I know he's supposed to be the father in this mm. regard, but I also want because of the way this case have gone and it being in the news for the longest time, going to court and back and forth. Mm. I rather look at it as a business relationship, not a father daughter relationship anymore. Or maybe we just need to put that father and daughter relationship aside and just focus on this one as a business mm. relationship. And when it comes to business relationship or corporate um, negotiations, it depends on what you, what the kind of value you place on yourself would most of the time be what those employing you will also give to you. Like you yeah. get what you negotiate for, not exactly what you think you deserve, you know. So I don't know what is playing out in that space. I don't know if this is what he signed in the beginning to say, you know what, if you're going to have me as your conservator, yeah, conservator, then this is how much it's going to cost. If they had agreed this from the onset, then maybe um, there is exactly no need to raise eyebrows, except it was a case of, you know what, I'm coming in to help you as your dad, well, and then you're now earning more than the person who was doing the job as a profession in the first place, then maybe um, we need to get worried. But whatever it is, you know, I don't that, know. That's why I just said. I hope it's worth it for mm -hmm. her at the end of the day. I hope she, she has found closure in all of this. Mm. I hope the fans who did the whole hashtag free Britney. Free Britney. They're still on it. And all it's that. still ongoing. I just hope that they realize that uh, sometimes people's personal spaces are being encroached upon mm -hmm. when such decisions are made. They may, it may seem like it's for their benefits, but you don't know what damage it does to the family who is involved. Mm. So that's why my question would still be, was it worth it? Okay. Um, while we're answering the question, we'll go on a very quick break. And when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still... 
end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleep early. <laughs>Welcome back. This is still Tea Time of Lost TV Africa. Naira Mali signs lighter to Malian music. And of course, Lighter is excited. Yes. Are you excited for Lighter? Yes, I am. Really? But I'm worried too. Okay. Because we've spoken severally about... I don't know. I don't want to make this like an affirmative statement that Lighter is a bit desperate right now. Because that's not the way... On, but the way the YBNL thing went was like it was a deal that was done out of desperation this is a guy that had it songs that was getting 60k per shows that they were get, probably getting paid like two million or a million or or even 800k for appearance and you, you are getting 60k i understand but i just Sorry, hope I that uh, come again it was getting 60,000 when it was on the ybnl for a show and okay. stuff like that and, and I'm how like much was he you're probably, saying i'm saying that paid. probably a lighter with the songs they had then would probably be let's getting, not exaggerate this thing okay don't let her exaggerate it but okay even two millionaire for a show i don't okay, understand that, talking though, about lighter that, yeah true that though but at least it, it, it's a, it's a, it has to be a whole lot more than 60,000 there right <laughs> okay and, um, but that's not the bone of contention here. The bone of contention here is that I hope he learned from his past to you, even though he didn't sign a legit contract with Olamide or anything. I hope he learned from that experience, the way he walked away, the way he was not content with the um, music calendar of releasing songs with five people and couldn't put out the songs the way he wanted to. Because when I saw the signing, it looked like they were in Naramali's bedroom or Lighthouse's bedroom. I don't know whose bedroom it was, but they, <laughs> they were shiny bedroom. But they were shy signing. Yeah. Yeah. And they were um, shy signing. I didn't see any legal representative unless it was the lawyer that was taking the picture. And I think... <laughs> <laughs> I, I do you understand like i need to see the lawyer, even if the lawyer wasn't the one taking the picture i could have gone through it and then send it back to them to say yeah it is okay. that is allowed but look there's just some things about certain deals that cannot be so casual mm. something or about your life about your earnings about your royalties mm, i'm not really bothered about the casualty of the signing whether if they like the shines in the toilet as long as what's in the paper makes sense and it's actually protecting that's, you that, and that's protecting exactly the record label as well, then that that's That is fine. exactly my point that I hope he learns. And this time around, a lawyer went through the contract. He actually understands it's every clause in it. And it's not just from then two years down the line, you say, nah, Amali is this, nah. We, I mean, we will not listen to you. I actually I, share, I I actually share um, your thoughts on this one. And, um, I mean, the vibe I got when he was talking about the calendar and all that, him dropping songs and them telling him it's not time to drop songs. I mean, YBNL, I'm not a huge, huge fan, but mm. I feel like YBNL um, is one of those record label that, to a certain Understand degree, has the, the best interest of people under them at mm. heart. We've, we had people come out and of that label. And cash. do you understand? And they, they parted ways in a... And in an, an amicable way, do you understand? So coming out to say all that, and at the end of the day, now that you have left the YBN, how many songs have you really dropped anyway? And how many? Do you understand? How many is even banging? You know, so I, I don't think his problem is YBNL or Lamide or whatever structure they have in a YBNL. I think, like you said, he has to really calm down to understand the business and understand how he wants to be represented and what he is bringing to the table. Because Naramali or Malia Music has got like four people already under the label. And I, I, I'm, I can't sit here to say there is one person now from that label aside Naramali that would say 
they have blown mm. okay they are doing good for themselves but that is not the case right mm. now lighter is joining that mix so what exactly is going to come out from this mix now is what i cannot say but i wish him well i hope that like you said two years down the line he doesn't come to tell us stories that touch the heart or go for another interview you know so and then there will just the be one thing i'll tell him then if he comes out to fool <laughs> me <then>. once <laughs> shame on you <laughs> fool me twice shame on me because when you come out the second time we tell you shame on you you know they learn okay all right moving on to the next story you can't kill my spirit and this is what tracy boachi is telling um feedback yes is it feedback or whatever after his yeah, after her suspension now in the previous episode we told you that the film producers association of ghana had released a press statement announcing the suspension of tracy boachi over an ongoing beef between herself and Miss Bell. Responding to the statement, Tracy in a video said she was never part of the association, stating that it's been eight years since she started movie production and that everybody knows she's an independent movie producer. She said she was boldly told she's not a member and would not be allowed to vote before electing the new leaders of the said association. So um, she's typically calling their bluff, right? And that they don't even have the right to suspend her or to in her words embarrass her by writing um such statement i don't see it as an embarrassment but in in um in the context in which she's putting it you don't have the right to punish me if i'm not a member of your association i studied law then i say something that is legally wrong or i supported la ccla no at that time then i get a letter from the um, nigerian bar association <laughs> telling me that you are going to be and I'm going, I'll be like, <laughs> for what? You understand? Mm. I think that's the same way this was. So if I'm not a member of an association and you feel like you have the right, I'll go on with my activities like it don't even matter. So I support her if she's actually not a member. So I think they're just pushing their luck or just trying to be in the news. And they're trying I to, think there are a lot of cloud chasers in Ghana too. Yeah, I mean, so I, th I feel like I you're just know. trying to um, jump on a bandwagon that doesn't even exist for you. So you are probably only kicking a pep because it's not a bandwagon anymore. <laughs> Okay, Daddy, come. <laughs> leave me, leave me, please, leave me. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, I just feel like if she's not a member of the association, then you really do not even have to punish her. But unless she's saying otherwise, so mm. I hope they come out and release a statement well, and show that she's also if, a member. If I got her, whatever the transcription is, right, I think that she maybe had indicated interest. Um, to be part and of the association, that association, but they had an issue and she wasn't one, especially in their last election, and she now sees herself as someone who is not part of the association. So based on that um, pain or so beef or bad like blood, it's actually you, you know how we had the mm. Emeka Rolas issue saying that Kate Hensher is not part of mm. the, or insinuating that she's not part of the association and she comes out to talk, and then he is saying that, do you pay your dues and things like that. I kind of think that's what is okay, going okay. on possible. here. That's possible. But Whatever it is, I think they're old enough to sort this issue out. And when you have um, problems like this involving two adults, um, did they even try to reach out to um, Tracy to understand what is going on before putting out this message? Because I think that's one of the things um, we need to ask uh, as well. Because you mm. cannot just hear something and see it on social media and then just decide to jump into yeah, conclusion yeah. because you feel she used some words that are not upholding your value. What? <laughs> it reminds me of a video I saw online of a television program in Ghana where they were teaching them sex position like you know a so I'm beginning actually. to wonder what the values really are but yeah I guess moving on okay it's, <laughs> it's a professional industry I don't know about that sex position thing but moving on when the shape preaches peace ahead of um, the general election in Ghana for 2020 um, she's taxing NDC and NPP to spread love she said NDC and NPP can come together to spread love and ensure a peaceful election. Odo is all we need. Did I get that right? Odo? Odo, yeah. Okay. <laughs> One thing I love about Ghana is um, their honesty. Mm. Yes. Okay. There's nowhere, there's no, there's, there's no place that there is no corruption in this world. Okay. But in Ghana, there's a level I can probably go to a restaurant drop my phone or even a bar, wherever it is, drop my, forget it legally. And I come back you two months later. 
Yes, like <laughs> legit. Like I legit forgot okay. the phone. I didn't. Mm. I did. And then four months later, I go back. I, I didn't even remember it was there. I left it. They'll be like, ah, sir, you left your... Mm. They'll remind you. So if this was Ghana, I would probably be raising... I mean, if, if, if this was Nigeria, I would probably be raising I ah, they don't pay Wendy Shea. Mm. But I cannot say the same thing for Wendy Shea because right now... Did you see the balance in the statement, bringing the two major parties political together. parties together, telling them that all we're asking for is peace? But if it was in Nigeria, you say, vote wisely, mm. hashtag uh, BDP, hashtag this. You know that this person is tilting towards biased, one side yeah. or bias. But in this case, it was well put together. It was banned. This was not a pain, it's not a paid sponsorship. Mm. It's just something that came from the heart. And I actually believe it genuinely because that's a place I've lived in and I know how honest the people there are and how much they actually care about one another. Mm. It's not some fake love thing going on there. I don't know about the entertainment industry. I don't know about the entertainment industry. <laughs> Street, but in real life, Ghanaians are actually one of the most loving set of people I've ever Aww, met. Mm -hmm. That's so sweet. Are you Ghanaian? <laughs> I'm not Ghanaian. <laughs> well, I'm blushing on their behalf. Okay, I think that's our wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can also watch this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you will go to my co-anchor, yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.